Hey there. Well, to those who somehow don't understand why I made the last video that I did, um, I'm trying to point out how fucked up our news is. All of our cable news, all the channels. I will make other videos showing this same thing with Fox, the same thing with CNN. Um, these channels are fucked. This, this is this is infotainment. This is taking you know maybe two minutes worth of information, not even that really, and blowing it up into an hour-long program. And they try to introduce a bit of drama. They try to introduce all these things that you 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 want in in an exciting show. The news. No, this is infotainment. And all of the networks are doing this shit. All of the, the cable news networks, I should say, are doing this. I can't remember who it was in comments on a different video. I can't remember who it was who said, this seemed to have started, uh, the, the, the pattern of this started around 89, and I'll have to agree. I will have to agree with that statement. Um, you know, 88, 89... And throughout the 90s, it just became more and more extreme. What year did Fox News come out? When did they... Well, by the time Fox News came into place, that road that that news is on now was, was pretty well established, but not quite as refined as it is now. But... Let's keep you at the edge of your seat. We have a piece of information you're probably going to want, and you should watch our show so we can tell you what it is. And we'll be sure to entertain you along the way. You know, I look at footage from some of these tapes from the, the, the later 80s, and even some from the early 90s. And it's, I mean, yeah, the pattern had started, but it wasn't like what it is now. And... I didn't see this shit. If they wanted to give a headline, it wasn't the kind of headline where, oh, you need to watch this later. No, it was just like, this happened, this happened, this happened. And, and that's it. That's, that's it. You know, you want the news. These are the things that happened. These are the things that occurred. People don't know this. People don't know that. These are the things that we know. This happened, and that's it. That's, you know, there could be, I mean, there could be some shows where people discuss things a little bit, but it's not this ridiculous thing that you find on cable news media now. On cable, uh, yeah, cable news media. Um, I think about when Jon Stewart was on Crossfire. What was that in? Was that in 2004? I think that was 2004. Anyway, Jon Stewart was on Crossfire, and he was just showing, you know, just putting on display that all of this bantering they have back and forth is all theatrics. It's all a bunch of fucking theatrics. And they don't really do things that will point people away from a candidate. They... The way they do it, it's just, it's, it's like they're a part of a candidate's uh, or a, you know, a politician's uh, PR. And you can try to say all this stuff along the way that, say, that makes it sound like you don't like someone. That you, you're trying to speak something negative about someone. But if it's, if in that process, there's other things that you say that make people, nothing in what you've said directly, but make people ask certain kinds of questions, they're going to be in support of the person that you're, some of these, these shows make it sound like they're speaking against. Um, now, I don't, I certainly don't blame this on, on Rachel Maddow. Not even, I, I don't blame it on her. It's, it's, 
it's the channel she's she's it's it's not just that channel it's it's what we've allowed media to become and it, it's strange the things that we've been very permissive on and still some of the things that we're restrictive on I think about how you know I don't know it, you could call it puritanical but that's that's hip hyperbole uh, for me to say it that way but um where I mean, for so long, it's like, uh, oh, don't don't let your kids see something that might be sexually suggestive; it could hurt them. And yet, we let we you you have no problem, you know, PG movies that uh, look at what some of these characters will do, and there's no remorse. If if for for those that that were killed, there's no showing the. The, the any how it affects some of the the lives of the people that knew those that were killed um it's just sort of this well it's okay to kill these people because well they're the bad guys good guys versus bad guys and that whole just stupid uh polarized binary thinking and, and spreading that sort of shit and oh that's no problem but but you, there's a boob showing there that's gonna hurt my child now I'm not saying there's a lot of that now I mean we have become a bit more relaxed about that stuff but the amount that we've relaxed on that subject we've relaxed on in areas we shouldn't have relaxed on like oh a times a hundred you know it, we should never have allowed the news to get to this point. But it's it, it happens slowly. It just keeps building up and building up and building up until we've got this situation where news is like watching, trying to watch an episode of Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z it could probably be summed up in 30 seconds to one minute. You could f see everything that happened in, in the fights... You know, everything that kind of happened uh, with some of the characters, you know, you could cut up an episode to be somewhere between 30 seconds and a minute, and you wouldn't miss anything. You'd know everything that happened on the entire episode in that 30 seconds to a minute. And that's what this, these new, this news is like. You know, they're not doing their jobs. They they take some story they think they can hype up, and they do. And they do it to extremes. And people seem to eat it up because, well, they're focusing on it being entertaining. Hey, guess what? That's the same thing that's happened on this platform here on YouTube. You know, look at look at these the people that, that make the content where they hype things up just the right way. Look how popular they get. create a lot of drama out of a situation where there is none and create a lot of hype out of things that are, are don't really amount to a hill of beans but you know you can turn anything into if you talk about it the right way you know you can hype it up the right way the same shit here you know is the same shit that's going on in the rest of our media this is just another form of media. But, oh, uh, well, it's so much better because it's individuals doing it instead of companies. Well, uh, not really. Sometimes it can be worse because they don't even... There are no standards to go by on this platform. Now, this can be good. You know, flip side of this, this platform, people can put out stuff that main, that you would never, ever, ever find on mainstream media and get a lot of information that you normally wouldn't. Or if not even necessarily full-fledged information because you still should look things up but you can get perspectives that mainstream media would never ever ever allow they just it, couldn't even fathom it and sometimes some of the views that are, that, that are on here are so out there and it, it's scary how those things will catch on um, a lot of the things that people would only think for just a moment to themselves uh, they now share with others, and I'm including myself here. They share they share these things with others, and those ideas that normally would have no chance of spreading, spread. So, <laughs> the internet has certainly changed our culture. And, 
but what media has become there 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 is no there's no excuse for it and i i don't really know how we're going to tackle it you know i i have hopes that maybe there will be some regulations that are like um well if it's like this you can't call it news you'll have to call it infotainment and you know if that ends up resulting in uh, there not being any news channels on, you know, cable channels anymore, then so be it. At least they're labeled what they are, right? They can become even more outrageous. So it might as well be, you know, the Inquirer News. Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, it might as well be that full-fledged thing. Might as well go there. Because that's where that's where our media has kind of gone. Now, granted, they're not putting out some of the ridiculous stories. Uh, my my son got uh, uh, shocked, got got uh, taken over by an alien, and and uh, their their daughter is part alien, or or you know just the most you know those kind of things. No, no. But with the way that information flows now, you don't really need those kinds of stories. In fact. It's been a long time since we saw, th since I've seen headlines like that, uh, when you know you're, you're, you've just uh, you've put your food on the conveyor belt and you're waiting to check out, and you look off to the side at the checkout stand, and there that uh, there those magazines are. I haven't seen those really ridiculous stories now. I see stuff where they've been able to just gather enough little bits of information they get on the internet, and it looks you know often like Fox News. <laughs> so, I posted something on Google Plus about this too. I, I had, uh, I took a couple pictures uh, from, uh, uh, on my phone on, in the uh, checkout aisle. Checkout aisle? Anyway, the checkout stand. Took some pictures of it and I said, oh look, uh, this must be the, the, the real news that, that people have been talking about, right? <laughs> it's, it, it didn't seem really any different than Breitbart or, or Fox News. Just... But all the cable news media are doing this shit. How long are we going to to put up with that and as I said kind of near the end sometimes it makes me wonder I'm not saying this is the way that it is but it sometimes makes me wonder whether a lot of this stuff that we're seeing from the higher uh, positions in the government uh, and media like it's just sort of one big conglomeration Like, it's actually just kind of essentially like one machine. And I don't mean anything supernatural about that. I mean, humans, when you uh, compartmentalize the things that they do, can do, and, and everyone's working together for something, we can do amazing things. Uh, things that just seem like that it should be impossible, but we're able to do them um, out of all of these systems that get created, so to speak. So... People are assigned to doing certain things, and the bigger our population gets, uh, the more you know, the smaller the parts of those things can be broken apart into. Also, in some ways, the more stupid it makes us because we're not, we're, it's kind of a representation of what's happened in music and a number of other fields where when you're working on something, you're, I guess, you're supposed to think of art. Oh, I'm going to make make this kind of piece, whether you know actual art piece or whether it's a song. Oh, I'm going to make a a bujni bujibaba type of rock song. Here we go, and think about these rules for this type of style because that's what you got to do. No, no, instead of just being like, let's just do something. Let's just make a song. What comes to your head? And not being rigidly locked down to a style, but but now we're oh, but but see, you have all these choices now. Look at all these different names. Look at all these genres and we all these subgenres and sub 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 genres. And you're like, I, 
I don't care. I don't care how you've categorized them. Let me just make let me just make music. If you want to categorize it later, fine, but let me just make music. Let this artist just make their art. Stop pushing it onto them that, well, this is how you should think of your music. No. Oh, this is how you should think of your art. This is how you should think of uh, uh, your directing style. This is how you should think of it. No, no, just stop. Stop it with that. God, it's so, it's, it's, it's so limiting. It's one of the reasons why I have a, pri one of the many reasons why I have a hard time with the whole, oh, 76 genders. No, just stop your, your, all this, all this stupid compartmentalizing things that should be let free, that should be, that should be free to be as analog as they are. Anyway, um... I guess I've really went on a tangent here, but uh, something's got to be done about what our media is like. I mean, it might just happen out of people not watching as much, but I don't think that's really going to happen because they they keep trying to make it ratchet it up and make it more and more entertaining. How are you going to stop people from watching something they think is entertaining? And are these channels really going to give people the, uh, uh, if they really want news, real news, are, are, are they ever going to create something like that? Or, well, that'll take away from the status quo that allows them to be as big as they are. Why would they want to put something out that, you know, it, it, for all intents and purposes is somewhat anti-corporate, Right. Corporate media putting out something anti-corporate. Yeah, that like that's going to happen. Um, I'd like to see something that's even as... Uh, it, even if they're as biased as the Young Turks, and even if they're as smug as the Young Turks, I would still prefer to see something where people aren't afraid to challenge the status quo or uh, authority or that sort of thing. I, I would really, really love to see something like that make its way onto, onto mainstream media. But you know, the thankful thing is, legacy media is legacy. It's on its way out. It's going to eventually be a thing of the past. We're watching it crumble away. But we're kind of left with a void. What do we trust now? I think CNN used to have the, have one of their... CNN, the name you trust, or something. They had something about trust in one of their taglines at one time. Anyway, um, I guess I've rambled enough. I don't even know how long it is, and I'm not going to look at it before. I'm, I'm not going to look at it. I'm not going to look at it before.